Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. If you want to see extra content, join our Patreon page. Yo, yo, people, get in here for another video. So, guys, we are here back at the Chevy dealership. So, guys, in between the last time we were on here and this video right here, I actually did record a video, like, in between. And in that video, I moved over all of uh, the other Chevys that we weren't able to move over in the last video. But um, that was before I hit 10,000 subscribers. And in it, I kept talking about how awesome it's going to be when it hit 10,000 and how we aren't there yet and stuff. So it, if I released it now, it would confuse a lot of people. So I might release that on Patreon. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but yeah, th th those are the kind of videos that uh, if I'm going to release it anywhere, I'll probably release on Patreon. Uh, but yeah, so uh, either way, we have everything now like moved over here. And we have... A new shipment that just came in today. We're going to open up these gates so we can uh, leave here. But we have a new shipment that came in today. And the shipment is a lot of older Chevys. So there has been a very, very high demand in older Chevys. And what Chevy has done is uh, we have gotten all of our different... Like, Chevy's just got all of their different uh, leftover uh, parts for their uh, older style vehicles. And they actually put them together to make uh, some ones that have a bit bit of modern equipment in them. Uh, but they're mainly the old style uh, with just a few modern touch-ups. So it's very, very good. Uh, it's going to sell like crazy. So that should be pretty cool. We're going to turn on cruise control here. I think we're going to cruise at around 30, 30 miles an hour. Seems pretty good. Uh, so yeah, that's how fast we're currently going. But yeah, so we're just taking the Kenworth over to the area where uh, the shipment was dropped off. I don't know why they don't drop it off where we are. I think it's because, um, I think it's because just uh, the truck can't get into our facility, so they just park in a nearby area which they're able to. So you you guys will see that they're very very big vehicles. Uh, and speaking of that, I don't know if they're actually gonna fit on to this trailer. Okay, we do have a stop sign coming up. So let's slow down a bit. There we go. Okay, let's look both ways. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I really don't know if they will be fitting onto this trailer. Um, like, I don't know if we can even fit one onto here. They're a bit wider too. So you, you guys will see them momentarily. Um, yeah, they're, they're really cool though. They are really cool. Actually, guys, you know what? I just realized I haven't saved the game in a while. So we're just going to save the game quickly. There we go. Uh, yeah, also guys, speaking on Patreon, as I talked about earlier, I do want to say a shout out quickly, uh, to three Patreon supporters that we currently have. So we have Daniel, we have Uber Driver 0618 and we also have Manny Daunton, uh, FS. So thank you to all of you guys. Um, yeah, so Daniel, he's now renewed for two months. Uh, same with Manny Daunton FS, and they both have renewed with the $1 tier. Um, and they, they joined when there was a special going on for a shout out with that low tier. And then also, uh, Uber driver 0618, he, um, he or she, I, I, I believe it's a guy. I, I actually talked to him, so I, I believe he goes by mail. Um, but yeah, so I, he, uh, joined the $5 tier and yeah, it has been, I think he plans on renewing as well. Not 100% sure. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I got to talk to him few days ago because i do try talking to the patreon supporters um well the five if you join the five dollar one obviously you get a call with me guaranteed so yeah yeah pretty cool but yeah i just want to shout out those people so uh daniel uber driver 0618 and manny daunton fs so guys this does fit on here like our wheelbase is yeah it, it's it's not the best fit uh you can see it fills up this trailer I don't want to damage this at all, uh, cause again, it's like Chevy went ahead and we use the parts that we did that we had. Look, look at that Chevy. Oh, I love it. We use the extra parts that there was from our older models. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's it's still like we we don't we don't have enough to really be making too many more of these. So yeah, as you guys see, guys, like this tank right here, that's one of those things that they've upgraded. Um. In between, like in comparison to when these kind of trucks were initially released, same with the axles and stuff. Those are all more modern, but like the uh, frame, like of the outside and the interior, like the wheel and the just everything in here, all the gauges and everything, the seating even that is all old, um, 
old Chevy Chevy style. So guys, let's start driving. We're gonna turn on our hazards and everything. So let's do that. There we go. And there's no beacons on here. I did try turning them on, but it just turns out that there isn't any to turn on. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on here. Oh, also, actually, guys, before we leave, some of you guys said that for it uh, in the vehicles, they tend to turn on the lights when towing them, uh, like the hazard lights. So we're gonna do that <coughs> since we can, and why not? So let's go ahead and turn them on. I don't even know if they work. Oh, they do. Oh, wow, those are great. You guys, this was made by I. I want to say Expendables modding, or at least I believe I downloaded it in the Expendables modding Facebook page. So yeah, I, I know lots of you guys will want these, and no, they're not private. They're 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 public. They're public, or they got leaked. But I'm pretty sure they're just public. Oh no, this is actually starting to shift off already. Uh oh, that. Ooh, okay, okay. We're gonna have to actually reposition this. It's already sliding off. I'm not sure on why. We might take the other trailer, uh, like the ramp run on our next load because i think it's long enough to hold these and it's a lot wider that's a big thing uh we're, we're lacking in our width right now we could i guess also use a low loader but those still like aren't that aren't that wide <laughs> um like they're wider but I, I don't know i don't know okay let's go ahead guys and i think if we drive straight it will probably be better so we're really gonna have to watch this here i do think that it might just fall off let's see it shouldn't have slid the first time so we'll see how we do this time um yeah okay i'm gonna turn on cruise control again let's just watch a load carefully i want to stay in first person but with this it really doesn't seem like we can so we will be third person for a while here until we can be sure that we're safe Okay, so we actually do have to slow down up ahead. Uh, I think that did shift a little bit more. It's not too bad, though. Okay, we look good at traffic, so let's get going. Yeah, we're good at traffic. Okay. Is that wheel coming off? E. That does look like it is. Huh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Stop. We have our hazards on. Uh, I, I, I need to adjust this. Oh, no. Look, it's it has a mind of its own, guys. This is not my doing. Oh, my. Listen to that thing. Purr, though. Okay. Uh, can we drive this up? Oh, we might have to unfold. Here, you know what, guys? We This is kind of unrealistic, but, like, it shouldn't be sliding, right? So, we're just going to kind of pick it up uh, to get it on if we can. And then we'll drive to adjust it. If we, I can even get this up. Come on, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, not not percent sure why it's having so many issues staying on here. Uh, this is not a common thing to see in the game. Like, it's not easy always to keep vehicles on. But if you drive carefully, they usually stay on. There's no lockable, there's no way to lock these on any kind of trailer in the game, to my knowledge yet. So, like, the script, the locking script, I don't believe is made yet. So that's kind of holding modders from being able to make some locking trailers for us. Okay, I don't want this to fall off, but we really don't have much space. Okay, here we go. So it does seem to be shifting off to that side. So I kind of want to... Let's see, guys, we really don't have much space to be, m like, maneuvering this. Ah, it's such a big vehicle, guys. I'm just watching those back wheels, right? Let's just put it here. I think that's the best we're going to do. Okay, no cars are coming. That's good. I did have my hazard on, guys. I would have pulled further to the side, but I did not feel safe doing that. Oh. Oh, come on. Do not fall off. Do not fall off. Even when we stopped moving, it started falling off last time, right? So we need to be very, very careful. Very, very careful. I'm not even using cruise control right now. The vehicle is just very, very slow. If we're going 31. Okay. Let's be careful, guys. It look it's looking okay. That is definitely sliding a little though. I don't believe I put it that far to the edge initially. And we are actually uh not really aligned with the road anymore. So there we go. Back in our lane. It's kinda hard to tell. I don't know why they paved that area over. I I don't think I did that. I think the map was like that. Okay. 
I think this is the best we're going to get there. Let's go on the grass. Hopefully, this doesn't fall off. I will try backing this up in here, guys, but I think it's going to fall off before we can do that. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and unfold it. That, guys, this was this was challenging. This was definitely challenging. Okay. There we go, though. And we will back this thing off. Keeping our hazard lights on. Be very, very careful, Garrett. This is... This is quite expensive. We we don't have enough money to cover this if we do damage it. Oh, geez. Right when I say that. Okay. Luckily, it has lots of ground clearance. Well, not lots, but it has a decent amount. Do they, Does this, like, go back or anything? Like, it says unfold. I don't think the unfolding does anything, though. Yeah, I don't think it currently actually can unfold or anything. Does it have straps? It does have straps, though. That's cool. But yeah, the unfolding and stuff doesn't seem to currently work, which is okay. It's all it's all good. Okay, so here we are, guys, and we're gonna put this not where the other vehicles are. Obviously, we're gonna kind of put this over by a ramp because this is a specialty vehicle. This is more of like a specialty lineup. Obviously, it is. <laughs> okay, there we go, and we're just gonna watch this. Okay, so that's the uh, ramp I was talking about, guys. That I want it to take. Um, so we will need a vehicle to tow that with. I don't believe our truck will work for that. No. Okay. So maybe we can grab. Here. You know what we'll do. I have an idea. Okay. Let's. Oh. Uh, why did I click tab? My apologies. You guys sometimes get mad when I do that. Okay. So here we are at the vehicles again. Um, let's get in this one. So we can also test out the driving. Oh. This does unfold though. Okay. And do you have straps as well? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Um. But yeah, you see, guys, it's like an old-fashioned interior, but there is, like, a modern hitch on the back. Like, it's, you can tell it's more one of the modern ones. Um, yeah, yeah, like, they, they have some modern and some older parts of this. But this one is definitely lowered down as well. We really don't have much ground clearance, but I will drive this. Ooh, actually, no, we should probably drive down the raised one. Yeah, here, let's do that, let's do that. We'll drive the raised vehicle over. Uh, sorry for walking on the vehicle. Uh, which one should we do? I'm thinking this one's raised. Yeah, okay, we'll go with this one. There we go. Yeah, I think this should be able to pull it. Oh, look at that. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, there we go. And then, oh, those lights do light up. Oh, wow. That's fascinating. Okay, and what about, like, with our other lights? Uh... Yeah, those hazards work and everything. Pretty cool. This is on the vehicles. That they, it slows down quite fast when I let go. Like here, I'll be going quite fast. Do to do to do. I'll tell you guys when I let go of W, okay? Because we do have stops. I'm coming up. So here, we'll let go of W. Going 55. Let go. Yeah, it 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 slows down quite fast. It I guess it could be a heavier vehicle, and it's obviously not as um not as fuel efficient as our current vehicles are because this is made with a lot of old parts i believe i believe the engine is a older engine as well it's 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 like a mixture i believe actually but yeah okay we're going quite fast probably faster than we should be but yeah so we're going to use this vehicle to go ahead and uh tow that trailer down so i we probably shouldn't use an old chevy for this but Actually, now that I think about it, here, you know what? That's not realistic at all. We're, n we're not going to use this Chevy to do it. We're just going to park this up over here. Uh, we really should use one of our other Chevys in order to do this. So that's what we will do. I thought I had a work Chevy somewhere, like a Chevy that we used for driving stuff down, but I don't remember which one it is. So I think we're just going to use this one. So we'll grab our trailer with this. Here we go. We actually can take the ramp, I guess. This ramp should be able to work. This vehicle kind of slows down a bit fast too, I think. Actually, no, this one, this one rolls. Okay, so this ramp's always sketchy. Look at, look at this weird floating stuff that goes on. It like bounces. You can really see the suspension. Look at that. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> very, very weird. Don't know, don't know exactly why it does that. I think there's just the collision on the ramp isn't completely accurate. But here we go, guys. We're taking this trailer ramp down, and we did kind of block our exit. We'll see if we can fit through. Okay, that disappeared. That was weird. Okay, is this all folded up already? Uh, looks like it actually is. Uh, we just have the back 
to adjust. So let's see if I can do that. Oh, no, nope, wrong button. There we go. So it should just come to the ground nicely. If we drive forward a bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Can we escape through here? Let's see. Here, let's try this first person. Uh, actually, these mirrors don't work. That's kind of difficult. Yeah, it, we, we fit through. We're good. We are good. Okay. So yeah, let's drive over. We don't have anything on there, but this trailer does have, like, those war um, beacons. And then we do have our hazard lights as well. There are the hazard lights on right now. So it's pretty cool. Uh, but obviously, we don't really need that right now. Wow, this thing is cruising. There is a stop sign coming up. Okay, it's not the fastest at stopping, though. It's not too bad, but it's not the best. There we go. Okay, well, here, we'll just put in cruise control again. It, it does take a little bit of time to gain some speed, but obviously it is a pickup truck. It's not supposed to be like a race car. So, right, well, guys, what's the horsepower in the av like an average race car? I'm curious. I'm very curious about that. Okay, here we are, though. So, I, di I didn't even check. So, okay, it does look like it will fit on here. Oh, my, this has, what? This has ramps. I don't even know if those ramps work, though. I don't, I don't think they do. Okay, but there we go, guys. We will go ahead and pull this out of the way. And, yeah. Also, guys, we could use this uh, trailer, I guess, as well. But it doesn't... I don't know. It has some issues. It does have some issues. It's quite a few vehicles. So, I try not to use that one too much, if I'm completely honest. Ooh, this is going to be... I don't know. If this is going to fit. Maybe if we lower down the back, but... Like, our wheels are on. It does slide a bit, too, so we got to watch that. Uh, it is on. It is on, and it doesn't have to be that far forward. Like, it can be, like, here. That should be fine. So we're going to go ahead and attach this up again. There we go. Okay, so this one has, like, barriers on the sides, too. I wonder if those actually unfold. They might. Should we check? Let's check if it, these do unfold. Oh, my! That is a crazy thing to see. You do have straps, too. Wow. Look at that unfolding thing. Like, that's some next-level unfold. I've never I've never seen that on a vehicle. Okay, but here, let's turn on those hazard lights again. I guess with this, you wouldn't really need them on. Oh, let's turn off the vehicle as well. There we go. Okay. So we're going to turn on our uh, beacon. Let's make sure it's on. Yep, beacons are on. And we'll turn on our hazard lights as well. Uh, so there we go. Our truck hazard lights. And yep, the trailer. Okay, so we're all good to go. We, we're, we're, we're ready to cruise, guys. So let's see how this does. Ooh, we probably should have actually... Oh, it, you see how it's actually sliding already? You see how the back slid so much? Okay. It does it when we turn, it seems. But sometimes even when we're going straight, it will do it a bit. So here, we'll just kind of adjust that it tends to slide more to one side than the other so i think let's see how that is that should be good it's the back wheels main that slide it seems too so we'll see how this does now it's going to slide off the other direction that's my guess it probably is like it's not perfectly balanced or the vehicle itself just does isn't heavy enough it's one of those two things i don't know we're looking good oh it, it's just sliding off can already tell. Okay. We're good. Yeah. Okay. We're going to lower down our cruise control actually too. Oh, is it sliding off? I don't feel like I put it that far to the side. Okay, we'll cruise again at like 30, I'm thinking. Just to stay safe. We, we were kind of going a little bit too fast with it. Um, but guys, so this actually also might be a multiple part. Uh, like a multiple... Epis like multiple this might be a series that's what I'm trying to say because we do have some more vehicles to bring over and yeah I, there's what, what the guys if I time lapse it lots of you guys would be mad um like the whole point of these dealerships is to bring vehicles over to the dealership so I, that's what I want to do so I think we'll do this one this vehicle and probably one more vehicle and then we'll call it um Actually, have we? I think we brought over one of each vehicle, so we might we might be good, might be good. Okay, we're gonna try turning in, or we could actually use the ramp. Yeah, okay, we do have this ramp on here for a reason. Okay, let's see if we can back up. Maybe I don't know. Oh yeah, look guys, look at how much it slid and stuff. It's definitely slid. Okay, here we go. Let's back up. 
So that's a blue backup lights. Interesting. Okay. Very, very interesting Chevy. I feel like Chevy doesn't actually have blue backup lights. It, it, it doesn't seem like they would. But maybe. I, I could very well be wrong. Okay. Hopefully this trailer can support the weight. It, I think I think this trailer does support quite a bit of weight. Like the uh, when we go to raise it. It should be okay. So, yeah, we'll, we'll back this one up. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, also, guys, question. Uh, if I open a dedicated... I should have asked this earlier. If I open a dedicated server for Patreon supporters, would you guys be interested in that? Um, yeah, that's kind of been a thought I've been having. And I just added it to, like, a goal, kind of, on Patreon. Um, but if that's something lots of you guys are really interested in, and if I see some people join Patreon... Then I will add it a bit sooner. Uh, we'll, we'll see though. We'll see how that goes. Let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. Um, and then I can kind of keep track of who's online too. So yeah. I, I, I think it's probably the best option. Uh, is to do that. Because yeah. If we just have a dedicated server open to every single person. It's going to be a bit challenging. And I think Spencer is planning to, planning to do something like that. Um, either way. So, he's mentioned something about, like, a farming tournament, I think, that's open to everyone. So, I don't want to take away from that. But if we have, like, a Patreon server for it, like, let me let me know, guys, what your thoughts are. Uh, we currently have three people on, on our Patreon, and I, I think only two of them play Farming Simulator. Um, so, it currently doesn't make sense with how many Patreon supporters we have. Uh, but once you have a few more, it will make more sense to open up one of those dedicated servers for it. I, I think that would be good, guys. By the way, the reason I have Patreon uh, is because YouTube, obviously, it, I, I okay, I don't do YouTube for money, uh, but I'm getting to the point, guys, where I, I have expenses, guys. I'm going to be going to college um, very, very soon. Like, my payments need to start in a few weeks here. So it's very expensive, guys. Um, and I need to pay for the majority of it, which means... That yeah yeah it's 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 pr it's pricey and I don't have, currently I don't have enough money to pay for it, um so due to that, and I I've been needing a bit more money, uh in the bank and YouTube really doesn't pay me anything so that's why I have the Patreon and I'm trying to give benefits and stuff too, as well um uh, or as many benefits as I can, but yeah that's the reason guys I've been on YouTube as you guys know for eight for eight uh eight years you guys have been checking the channels made and everything it's been eight years guys right so. I like honestly, if I was in it for money, like I've made under a thousand dollars from YouTube total with donations, with every single thing. I've in eight years making under a thousand dollars. Have been like I've now actually we're almost at a thousand videos uploaded. I have around five hundred private though, uh, but you guys know that as well. Um, but yeah, like lots of my initial videos are privated now or unlisted. But yeah, no, like I've made. Like, if you think of how many hours I put in versus how much I made, I'm not in YouTube for money, guys. It's literally just I have these expenses that I can't pay for. And as you guys also know, a while ago, I quit my job in order to upload daily YouTube videos. Um, but YouTube currently, what I was making in a month, I haven't made in the last eight years on YouTube, right? So it's, yeah, it's 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 been a struggle. I'll say that much. Um, especially just with more things needing to go i don't know i don't know either way the guys i'll see you in the next video you guys are so so awesome i think we left the lights on on this did we not apparently not okay i guess we're i guess we're good with that okay but guys i'll see you in the next video you guys are awesome let me know what we thought about this and let me know about the dedicated server idea let me know what your thoughts are on that one as well um yeah i'll see you in the next video you guys are awesome bye bye